Hey everybody, welcome back. We are going to be at the patch in this video. Um, we had one little bit of an issue and that is I lost the GoPro. So some of the clips that we need uh, are missing. And uh, that's why I'm shooting this intro for you guys in here and now. It is actually, Molly and I are going out for a birthday dinner. It's uh, actually not either of, I's, either of ours birthday. It's uh, Wayne's birthday. Uh, he would have been 90 years old today, actually. So, what you guys are going to be seeing in this video is uh, fixing up and tiling a big half of this pumpkin patch. So we're pretty much going to get into it. There's a waterway right here that was pretty much kind of not the way that it should be. So we're going to work on that in this video. We're also going to be working on redoing this ditch. As you can tell, we've got three outlets there, so a little bit of pipe that goes in. I think we end up with like 12,000 feet or so of four inch uh, tile that we put on the contours. You guys will see a drone footage of that, but uh, might as well jump on into it. We're in the hole, we're pre-ripped, we're laid out. They got like a thousand foot, six inch run here we're putting in. Might as well start with the fun stuff. 100% biffed and ate it. Twist my ankle going down the hill here up the hill stringing out that pipe i walk with them to make sure there's no mice holes or anything like that on them on the mains at least you guys saw us pre-ripping that's already pre-ripped up the hill then we strung it now we're installing it what we'll put the dual wall on as i go up the hill here installing the way we should be some of you keen observers that have watched the channel for a long time probably realize that I rarely pull any a tile in the spring. Um, but with as beautiful as the spring as we were having, I'm uh, pulling some tile. Dad's putting on the anhydrous ammonia, so he's running the 9400. He's putting on smoke, kind of uh, gives me the chance to do a couple of projects here. Um, first thing, it's dry enough. Um, hopefully we can get the ground put back together the way, you know, decent enough that um, that it doesn't cause too much headache as we're actually farming it this year but as long as I can get these mains closed up nicely we'll be okay and just like that load off plow up we've got uh, the first of two six inch runs done so this main that we just pulled in is gonna be the one that catches tile kind of or catches this side hill here. We're gonna do some spaced out laterals that kind of come up the side hill here. I'll go survey it, but I'm pretty sure the flat where I actually have the corn maze, uh, the corn maze, the pumpkin patch and stuff like that, it wants to actually drain to the, to the south. And then there's also uh, two 24 inch high pressure gas lines over that way. That outlet that you guys just saw pulled started running water basically shortly afterwards and has been running water ever since what you guys are going to see me now do next is actually there were some trees right here we'll rip those out and then we'll actually uh get this ditch kind of graded out because the ditch was not draining but before we jump into those clips what i was just talking about right there was uh the flat was not drained yet and i'm actually considering a project where I actually do uh, subsurface irrigation using the drainage tile. If that's a project that you guys would be interested in seeing done, let me know in the comment sections. And if you've done it before, definitely let me know in the comment section. Let me know how it's going for you.
Okay, so now that we have <clears throat> the trees pulled out and uh, added to the burn pile there, we gotta get the laser out. So the laser, that's the transmitter, there's the receiver. Beeps when it basically sees the laser. For the people that don't know, that laser right now, it's set up and just shooting out a straight plane. You can put a grade onto that laser, but right, it's at a plane right now, just straight out. So that means that I can now go figure out where the water is actually entering this pipe at. Sorry, you're gonna be really close to me for a second. So, eight foot, two and a half, we'll say. Getting me pretty darn close. Eight foot, two and a half. So there's my bottom of my hill that I can get this to. Get over here. We know that the water's at least getting to, oh, that's a soft spot. It's at least getting to right here. So we'll take a shot here. Now we should go down with the staff good we're gonna have quite a bit of fall up a little eight foot two and a half what did I say the first one was dang it I forgot already. Right. nine foot two and a half sorry that's I was right so did I said did I say eight foot two and a half the first time anyways nine foot two and a half is what we have so basically I got a fall a foot of fall that I get to work with as I dip this ditch out that's really not gonna be difficult guys so right here on this little short piece here i'm not sure how many feet this is but uh not very many a couple hundred at best but we're uh we're not gonna pre-rip this one because that's just extra so also helps if you take the end of your pipe and you tuck it somewhere like that. Then you don't drag it across the field. Pro tip, 9,000 from yours truly. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna stand on top of this pipe in the hole so he doesn't drag it too far away from uh, where we wanna tap onto it with our, with our uh, double wall, dual wall, whatever you call that thing. So while he's finishing this little deal, we're gonna go uh, tie our string back around this uh, little bit of tile we still have left on this roll. And we're going to get hooked onto an eight inch roll of pipe. So we are now onto the, the big pipe of the day. We got one pull of this eight inch pipe here. Um, this is the main drain for this terrace project here. So, this is the only thing. I, it might get one or two laterals on it, but it's mainly just a pure drain. So we don't. We want to make sure it has all the capacity it can have. But we aren't going to be using the feeder for this one. So 
something we may or may not have gotten on camera and if we did get it on camera we'll not make this video due to obvious reasons because the guy that edits the video he's the butt of the joke but he fell down like wiped out he was trying to trot behind the tile cart as i was uh throwing some tile out <laughs> and and uh somewhere in this waterway here did go ahead and just biff it like wiped himself smooth out and i did not have the remote so i hope he's paying attention so really the only dirt work that we needed to do on this project was one inlet and uh we got a two inch rain and i didn't have my gopros and the other thing that i didn't talk about was that on this project it was just windy every single day and the tile wasn't here when we thought it would be here and some other oddball stuff so that kind of got messed up a little bit but right there's our inlet you can just tell it's just kind of like a a bump that's here now and it did its job it drained a lot of water and caught all the water so after we've got that we start on the actual side hills i just want it to be known that i've been missing a water jug and i thought it was in that silver pickup it's not i looked in the dually it's not so i'm starting to think that maybe molly is uh doing my dishes for me the plan here is to track this excavator up the hill here and we're gonna set an inlet right here on this side of this little terrace that we've kind of got started so that's the plan stay tuned we're gonna do it So as you guys saw, probably already, or maybe not yet, there's a terrace on the back side of that dirt pile. You can kind of see where it's maybe smoothed up a little bit. And so that terrace is actually gonna run straight through here, basically to where that tile line right there is. And so what we did is we forgot to bring a 100 foot tape measure. So 20 foot, 25 foot at a time, we measured from our pole here where we're probably gonna where we're gonna go ahead and put our riser on to the property line which is there's a white post i don't know if you can see it or not but over that way so 25 foot at a time we got that taken care of and we're now ready to expose this pipe collecting some pigs i told him we wanted some yeah are they, are they dead pigs are they? no they're not hold on okay lift that back up if you can we had a bunch of dirt go underneath the pipe right there rolling take one there. good hit can i pee on it and make sure it works probably take a while though so first thing this morning, I'm lighting fires here in the water. What I was saying is the GoPro died right on cue. Again, was uh, trying to burn the grass out of that waterway this morning. That way, uh, when I disc it, which I'm gonna go grab the disc actually, um, so that we don't have the ash floating into our face all day, that I can actually get that little piece there into, uh, into shape to grow a crop with that mat that was there no chance so after the burn uh, to uh level it up and make it a little nicer for us we got uh the disc out here just disking it down it's doing a decent job actually looking kind of nice there that way uh that way it's fixed up for us and not huge rust so i fall and twist my ankle again uh okay i've been working on uh this uh battery situation to get some gas in this dozer colt's carrying dirt over 
I did scratch out some pattern lines. So that's done. Well, we're gonna see if I can start this thing now. So down here, we got this brush pile shoved into all tilled dirt. So all of this right here where we took this waterway out, we burned the grass, we uh, dissed it up, we drug pipe through it. Um, the lines, I don't know if you can see on the hill, are scratched for the rest of the pipe we're gonna pull around here. But anyway, we got the brush pile pushed down the hill. Everything around is tilled. So tomorrow, when it's supposed to not be windy, um, we're gonna light that baby up, and let it burn. Having us a gosh darn fire around here. Nice one. So we're back here this morning. First thing, not a lot of wind. So we uh, got our brush pile on fire. It's mostly cedar, so it'll burn pretty darn quick. Um, gonna try and finish up this terrace, I haven't gotten the phone call that says, hey, I got a load of pipe for you. So there's a chance that we have a kind of a short day today, which be okay because we have a banquet to go do tonight. We are actually um, nominated for uh, Appanoose County Business of the Year for the pumpkin patch. So we gotta go to a banquet tonight and uh, get some dinner, have a cocktail, and uh yeah but there we are that's pretty well on it we just got to fill in this back side here probably take out a little bit more in that area right there to give it a little more holding area on that side but it should catch it funneling into our riser right there any of the surface water which hopefully there's a lot less surface water because the fact that the side hill will be drained and being used like a sponge like it should be.
so there's kind of where i lost the gopro um we did get the tile the we didn't get the tile that day so those projects will be coming up on it this year later on but other than that i guess i might as well throw the drone up in the air and show you guys how this project turned out i'll warn you it was dissed once already uh just trying to get them worked in before the rain actually came but this is how the project turned out we'll finish the video off with that thanks for hanging out with us sorry about the little bit of a choppy video but the real work is starting or has started and those videos will be coming out real darn soon we'll be back to a more frequent schedule see you in the next one Well, time to get this girl out, so we'll see if we can get her to work here. Um, push some dirt with it. It's here. Might as well use it if it starts. I give it a good chance of starting. Not a great chance, just a good chance. But there's a chance. First chance we're gonna need is I'm gonna have to see if we got any fuel. So that fuel bulb's gonna have to fill up. I'll be darn. We've got fuel. Good deal. See if we're out of gear. That's all good and dandy. She's got liquid. It needs this water pump rebuilt so I can't use it for that long. But I can use it for a short period of time.
Matters! 